Welcome to this video series on Windows XP. This is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Today we will be talking about administrative tools. We did cover control panel uh, earlier in one of the videos and we did not talk about administrative tools as it involves a few more things. So today uh, we will uh, discuss this in detail. In order to launch it you go to start, control panel, and then administrative tools. And I notice I'm using a classic view here. Now once you are in administrative tools, there are different areas that we will uh, discuss. Uh, so let's get right into it. The first one is uh, data sources, which essentially lets you add, remove, and configure open database connectivity data sources. I'm going to go ahead and create a user DSN, which stands for data source name. Uh, essentially a data source is a pointer to another um, possibly a database like SQL Server or Oracle typically these would be um, available on your network on a different machine but for the sake of simplicity I'm just going to point to a access database that I have on my machine uh, I'm just going to uh, if you open this it's got some data in there already but um, I will create a data source to to that access database and then I will use Microsoft Excel to pull that information so uh, let's uh, the first thing you need to do is find the driver for Microsoft Access and then you need to give it a name so we'll call it uh, let's say Northeast Clients you could add description if you like now under database you click on select and this is where you will point to the location for our database which is northeast.mdb I will click OK and that's it we essentially created a pointer to this data and I will click OK and you will notice that uh, uh, this one it, it shows up right there and I will go ahead and click OK now I will launch Microsoft Excel and uh, click on data import external data select import now here I will click on new source and uh, this is gonna be an uh, ODBC DSN and I will point to the one I just created earlier and so it goes ahead and finds all this information uh, for now I'm just going to say that I'm interested only in the employer table and we'll just finish this and then click open it say where do you want to put the data I will say the first location and there you go essentially you what you did here is you pulled all the information from Microsoft Access into your Excel sheet now you are able to uh, change the information and uh, you could save this as essentially your copy of the data so that's uh, really uh, all I wanted to talk about the uh, ODBC. The next uh, item is the event viewer which is definitely helpful if you're trying to troubleshoot your machine. There are several tabs here. Um, the One of the important ones is application tab and you will notice that there are uh, different uh, icons here. I typically stands for information. Um, yellow is the warning and then the critical one is the red so if you were having some kinds of let's say issues on your machine and you wanted to filter on those you could um, click on uh, view and then filter and say that okay all I want to see are the errors and you apply and now it just filtered the information and you could uh, click on these one by one 
and it'll give you a little bit detailed information looks like this one it says hanging application iExplore.exe that has to do with Internet Explorer and you could browse down this to find a little more information and they also do provide a link to Microsoft's website so a nice feature to um, find information on um, on different things that are going on your on your machine I'm just going to go ahead and reset the filter security tab will have information on any um, user or maybe a process that's trying to access your machine so typically you will see a lot of uh, successful audits here if you do uh, see things like failure audits those are the ones you want to look at to make sure that no unauthorized uh, users are trying to connect then uh, the next one is the system tab again this has to do with uh, essentially system level information some of the services that are running on your machine and once again you want to filter on uh, all the events that have an error of some sort on them so that's all I would like to talk about the event viewer it's essentially it's a way to monitor the uh, health of your system from a, a user activity or an application standpoint. The next uh, two are definitely important um, so let's look at those. The first is what uh, what's called the performance monitor and um, this is uh, definitely used a lot. Um, I happen to work in databases so for us if we are running into issues